Hello everyone, my name is Abby. I teach kindergarten and this is my teacher life. So I am in my new office in our house that we finally moved into. I have painted it and decorated some parts, the wall over there, and I can't wait to finish it. So today I'm talking about a must do for all teachers. This is a way to get free stuff for your classroom. Well, everything's not really free. Your friends and family will donate to your project and then you'll get stuff for your classroom. So I'm going to walk you through how to make a Donors Choose project. I've done this every year. This is how I got all of my books for my classroom library. Um, I got my furniture stuff for my flexible learning environment, pillows and all that stuff. Anything you could imagine that you need or want for your classroom, you can get it on DonorsChoose.org. So, here we go, let's start. All you have to do is go to DonorsChoose.org. Okay, so you'll go to DonorsChoose.org. This is the welcome page. If you haven't made a profile yet, go ahead and create one. And you're going to want to click on Create New Project. There we go. Now, you're just going to pick the standard project for different um, supplies and resources and hit Let's Go. Choose what grade you teach. I already have kindergarten because I teach kindergarten. I'm anticipating 24 students. and this next part you're going to describe your students on the bottom it says 80 word minimum so your box is going to be blue if you're not done on the side it'll tell you what to include you know how all the details that you need to include in your in your description when you're done and have 80 words your box your box will turn green and it'll say nice at the bottom <laughs> you upload a classroom photo if you're a first year teacher and you don't have one you can just Take a picture of your classroom. Okay, going shopping. They have all these different places you can go shopping. It has definitely changed. And right there it says my budget has increased each time you finish a project. But anyway, so they've added so many more places you can shop. When I, I think I did my, fir my first one, there were like five or six. Maybe seven. I don't know but they've added so many more so we're gonna go ahead and just click on one it tells you the the directions what to do what to include etc and then make sure it says donors choose at the top so you're not gonna go to a website first you're gonna go do everything through donorschoose.org so if it doesn't say donorschoose.org go back open up the link again and um, it should say donors choose at on the top so we'll just pick something here, whatever you want to pick, and it'll show you obviously what the product is, what kind you want, you can click through them depending on whatever website it is, and then you will add it to your cart. It was added to my cart. So to check out, you're going to go to your cart like if you were paying review your list again and check out once you check out it'll go back to your donors choose page so and it'll show up right there so you'll know that it's in your basket or in your project already um, and then you can just continue shopping when you're done with that so you'll summarize your what's in your cart etc there's eight words minimum again the directions pop up on the side um, I'm not going to finish that right now, but it'll continue and just classify the project. What is it? Supplies for me. Your project title. So something that will catch people's attention, obviously. Back to school. Oop. This is just a back to school project. So it'll show you on the side again what you need to have. It's a lot easier now took a quick step-by-step -step process. Anyways, so the next part you'll have to have 100 words minimum and choose what subject areas. This is helping like every area really so just picking some some subject areas that it's gonna my resources will help 
And you're going to write all this in description too, so. Save and continue. Alright, obviously there's red flags for me because I haven't finished filling everything out. But this is a summary of your project, basically. When you're done with your project, it's going to say almost done. And you're going to review it one last time. And go through the whole thing. Make sure you have all the supplies you need, everything you're looking for. And at the bottom, it's going to show you your total project goal. And make sure you it's everything you want because you will not be able to make changes after you submit. So submit your project. And then this will come up. You've successfully submitted your project. Yay! Now they're going to send you an email after it's been reviewed. And after they review it and approve it, then it will be posted. So let your friends, friends and family know. And be ready to get some new stuff for your classroom. And that's it. And that is how you do a Donors Truths project. So if you have any questions, let me know below. Follow me on Instagram. It's Abby Kindergarten. I will put a link of my project below if you want to see an example. And I'm not sure if you can see my past projects, but I'll have an example there. And yeah, share with me your projects. I want to see what all of you guys need in your classroom. And shout out to my mom. She has donated to every single one of my projects since I was a little baby teacher. So thanks, mom. All right, see you next time. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.